In the aftermath of the Brussels attack, Donald Trump is calling once again to temporarily ban Muslims from entering the country. And Ted Cruz says police should be able to patrol Muslim neighborhoods to prevent what he calls radicalization. We need to immediately halt the president's ill-advised plan to bring in tens of thousands of Syrian Muslim refugees. Paula Dotman joins us live from Sterling Heights right now. And Paula, you've been talking to some local refugees. How are they responding to these latest comments? Well, first of all, let me show you why I chose this location to go live. So I'm at a shopping center in Sterling Heights, and it, it, this kind of gives you a sense of who's here and what they're doing. You have Dream Market right here. You have Dream Dollar right there. You've got Dream Fashion right there. That is a very important word in this community seeking the American dream. In Sterling Heights, there is a huge immigrant population, and the success stories are many. The Al Batawin family escaped Iraq seven years ago. They pooled the resources with other family members who'd already escaped tyranny, and they opened a fresh market at 16 and Mound. In Iraq, Amir worried daily for his five daughters. Today, the entire family says they work for the betterment of the community. 100 percent, because. Uh, I don't care for more, uh, about my uh, girls. The organization that settled this family, Lutheran Social Services of Michigan, says this story of this family is the norm. And when Amir and his family came over while he was in Iraq, he owned a store named uh, the same as this store. So he came with the idea of, hey, let's do what, we're, what we know how to do, what we are, have a passion for, what, what we are good at, and, and let's bring that to America. Yet this year, there is something different in the air. For Youssef, a first cousin, he doesn't feel the wrath of the political climate, not at first. Most of the people think I'm white. But the moment he opens his mouth, he is looked at differently. Though Chaldean, Christian, he is looked at as a Muslim just because of his geography of origin. And suddenly, the smiles seem to disappear. You know, you don't feel comfortable with, like doing whatever you want to do. And in the final analysis for this family, it shouldn't matter. They believe people should be judged on their actions, not the color of their skin or their particular walk to God. Every time I walk around, like, say, in a bar or a casino, people throw words at me, and that affects me. Yet in this community, around 15 in Ryan, where there is a heavy Middle Eastern population, you might be surprised to know there are people who see it entirely different, like Jonathan Agos, born in the United States from original Iraqi generation parents. They got to clear some of these people out of here. They got to do a lot. Okay, people like who? People like these boaters that just got off the boat. Who are boaters? Uh, the, the guys that just got off the boat. Why don't you like them? Uh, because they think it's like back home style around here. Okay, so, so here are the facts. The, any immigrant is screened, very, very seriously screened. No matter who they are, what they look like, or what religion they are, they are screened before they even get into this country. The government wants to bring in 10,000 more refugees from Syria, 1,200 of them coming to Michigan, seven by the end of the week. And they don't want to call them refugees anymore, but new Americans, because what they do is they actually bring them here, put them in programs to get them on the path of citizenship. Karen? All right. Paula Tubman reporting live for us this afternoon in Sterling Heights. Thank you, Paula.